analysis tool is a mostly used by statistician purposes if you know the statistics about ANOVA test Z test correlation those things we will using data analysis okay so let us see how we will implement this one you need to click on add-ins after add-ins these many add-ins we have okay so I required analysis tool pack I'm taking analysis tool pack click on ok and select those analysis tool pack which are required okay and then click ok in case of there if you find any more analysis tool packs you need to go through browse how we will see in last example we browse one add in like okay then click okay in data you will find the data analysis okay now if you want to analyze the things between x and y variables okay suppose uh, let us take a case study of correlation between uh, two things okay students and marks okay if a student studied 5 hours he get a marks of 90 and if a student studied 2 hours he get a marks of 35 and another student studied 1 hour he get a marks of 20 and another student studied 8 hours he get some 93 marks okay so if you want to find the correlation between these two things you need to go for data analysis take correlation click ok select the input range ok select the output range where you want to get click ok so now you get the correlation this is the correlation you will get in a matrix form ok the correlation value is always between 0 to 1 so it is saying that the correlation between first column and the second column that means between these two columns so the student who studied more hours there will be probability and chances of getting more marks that means it is showing 0 0.93 accuracy right so in this manner we will analyze the statistics also using excel in data analysis pair you will find lot of things ok ANOVA for single factor ANOVA for two factor ok and similarly descriptive statistics Fourier series Fourier analysis histogram rank and percentage regression ok and Z test before applying all these tools you should be knowledge of ground level knowledge of statistics if I want to know the covariance ok again take the range input range and select the output click ok this is the covariance and the covariance and if you want to summarize all the things at the time data analysis and some regression descriptive statistics click ok select input range ok summary the statistics ok so uh, for one column for one column I take this data and summarizes for this column 
the mean is 4 standard error deviation is this one median is this one mode is not available when the mode will available mass repetitive repetition is there then the mode will exist there is no repetition and uh, simple variance range maximum value minimum value sum and the number of count like that we can summarize the data okay thank you thank you watching for my video please like and subscribe my videos